Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asahina. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> So for today's video, we're going to be reacting to SB19 Skento on Good Day New York. I have been holding off on doing this reaction because I actually need to use this video for something. Stay tuned guys, stay tuned. So finally I'm able to react to it. It's been a crazy July and crazy early, you know, crazy start of August, excuse me. So now I'm like, I can actually like breathe because there was a lot going on guys. Like SB19, the run dance play, and then to dream con and then all the other stuff that's like not Cynthia related but like there's a lot going on and speaking of Cynthia, rachel and asha uploaded a video of their reaction to i want you on wish bus so i'm gonna link that down below you guys should go ahead and check that out but we're gonna be reacting to sp19 performing ghetto on good day new york i wanted to go i had to work you know working at nine to five monday through friday is crazy but like it, it is what it is so let's go ahead and react to the before Ninguento. uh good day new york the filipino band made their debut on american television right here on the good day stage last year and now they're here to perform you know i don't know them, them people names Please i don't know her name like, i don't josh like Sal she just there for me ah! okay okay Oh, Ken, please. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad at you, bro. So mad at you, bro. I'm calling the man bro. That's crazy. Like that, that he went from baby daddy to bro. Like what a demotion. Yes. I actually like the fact, I mean, we've already like, We've already seen them like live and it, they didn't have any backup dancers or anything like that. Which is like, I want to actually go to the Philippines to experience like an actual, actual SB19 concert. Cause I know they don't go hard as they do in the Philippines. Like in the Philippines, they're, I know for a fact, I don't watch the fan cams because I don't like ruin it for myself. But like, I know for a fact that their concerts are off the charts. Like they do half of that in like the US because they, they have, like their schedules all over the place and like it's expensive too like there's so many reasons but like i do want to go to the philippines and actually witness sp19 like in concert there because i know it's a whole different experience hey hey this song has helped me learn that <laughs> like it's helped me low key I listen to a song way too fucking much. Josh, looks so good. He looks so good. Ooh, I, this is my favorite part of the song. Yo, Pablo kills his fucking rap, bro. He kills his fucking rap. His his verse, this verse, in my opinion, is the best verse in the fucking song. This is the hands down the best verse in the song. You cannot like Pablo's skills in the mic as a rapper, untouched. You cannot touch his skill, bro. You cannot. You cannot. Like yes. I don't want to go back, but I'm not going to. Cause I know if I do, I'm gonna do it multiple times. Like, my phone is sick of me. Like, my phone is sick of me. Whenever I fucking listen to a song, I always gotta rewind it back to the rap. Like, multiple times. I know my phone's gonna be like, bitch, can you let the rest of the song play, bro? Like, I know my phone's sick of me. I love that part. Mm. 
Quinto, quinto. Hey, We love the, we love this. We love this. We love this. The wink, Josh. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Ah 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 ah. Ooh. Sorry, sorry. If you're a dancer, you know what the ah ah e, <laughs> ah, ah, ooh, the sounds that dancers make, bro. with them right now but I got no room on this table I got no room yes you're back. eight yes. eight they ate oh I'm, so, I'm listening I mean, to that since I last saw you you're now on tour all over the country mm. what's it been like for you what's the experience like uh, it was very amazing for us to experience this second time this opportunity again mm. um, last time we visited a few cities but mm -hmm. now we have 10 cities to go and we're just really really thankful that we had this opportunity and we get to meet our new fans and of course introduce our music to the world ah, so i have to say it was your thing. fans who told me that you were yeah, coming I'm back to that, town so mad and that you i can. need to get you on good day new york so let's talk about your fans because they're very loyal. I mean, less than over Pablo because Ken got me mad. <laughs> uh, but basically, I still they're love kind you, of Ken. challenging other fans on Billboard, right? Wow. How's that going? What's the, and what's that all about? Well, it's really actually um, surprising <laughs> that we made it to uh, we made it to uh, semifinals, I think. Or yes. Finals. But uh, yeah, actually, we won. I feel like 18 is the we won. best fans we won. in the world right now. Uh, <laughs> they've been giving us all the support, and of course. Uh, all throughout this journey that we have been to, uh, they've been keep on they've been, uh, been supporting us ever since. So it's really overwhelming, and we're really thankful to the fans. Are you having any fun while you're on tour? This is hard work. I see the way you just danced to that one song. Yep. Uh, of course, <laughs> that um, song is right now for this tour. Dance. Um, Whoosh. It's a bigger tour right now, but honestly we're enjoying and mm -hmm. we're just having fun while we perform on stage and actually we're not we're just we're not the one who's really performing it's the fans it's oh. the one who's always performing with us like they always surprise us with their fans uh what do you, what do you call that the, yes. the, the the gifts the fan projects everything and that's one thing that we look forward to seeing them and also to have them and perform with us have you had any fun while you've been here in New York at all? Did you do anything fun? Uh, of course. Yeah, yeah and, of maybe, course. and maybe today we might watch um, Broadway. Broadway. Oh, yeah. go to Broadway. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, listen, we love you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for you know coming by. Continued success. See you soon. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, yeah don't be a stranger, guys. Bring your, bring your butts back over here. <laughs> don't be a stranger. <laughs> nah, they ate. <laughs> like... They ate. and again, like I'm gonna keep talking about this concert until I don't know until the end of the year, bro. Y'all y'all gonna, gonna get sick of me. <laughs> like I'm so serious. Like they ate. They ate. the concert, they ate. left no crumbs. And I'm just like one thing about S19 is they're gonna keep their promises because at the Where You At World Tour, New York stop, they said, We're gonna come back next year. And what did they do? They came back. So they said the same thing um for this tour for this concert and I believe it they're gonna come back so I'm just getting ready to cry again next year well not really cry but go be hype again next year um, when I do another uh, tour um, maybe I could try to go to the Philippines and maybe do a couple stops not just New York because I know Asha and Rachel they also did the DC show but because like we want to give people like the chance to like experience what we experience being like basically the first row like they decided to sit in the back so that people could also experience it instead of like bum rushing to be at the to always be like at the like first row like because for us it's just like 
we love the boys music so we're not the type of person that really like just stand there and record the whole time like we do it for like a little bit but because we're like so like, we're so like anticipating like i need to dance i need to sing and dance with them like we anticipate that shit. we we stop when we can like when we get to like our favorite part we stop and then we just jam out and we also want people to also experience that same thing too so like i will definitely mind going to more shows and doing more stops like because the concert was fucking fantastic and just one stop one show is just not enough it's just not enough to get me off of the SB19 high. Like it just, it's not enough. Like I feel like multiple, multiple stops is like needed. It's just, you know, the tickets and stuff is kind of expensive and like transportation. Like DC was more like, I was almost gonna go with them to the DC, DC show, but I was just like, wait a minute. That means I gotta buy another ticket. That means, like, I gotta take the bus. I mean, the buses to D.C. aren't bad, but, like, the whole planning things out and whatnot. Like, I actually did, I actually also wanted to go to the Canada the Canada show, and I'm kind of upset that I didn't, because if I knew that Kel was gonna perform Palayo, my ass would've been out. Like, I would've been went to Canada and saw him <laughs> perform Palayo live, because that's one of my favorite songs. If I had to rank my top, like, three favorite, like, Philippe songs, Criminal was number one, Palayo is number two, Mike Test is number three. Like those are my, those are the top. Sometimes Palayo and Mike Test could switch it out. Like the number two and number three, three spot, they kind of like change, like depending on my mood. But like usually it's, it's always gonna be criminal. Criminal is like superior for me. That's my shit, bro. That is my shit. But anyways, I'm rambling. Y'all know I ramble too much. But if there's any other videos that you guys want me to react to, comment it down below. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button while you are at it as well. And I love you guys. Bye.